Small and medium traders have started feeling the heat of the announcement of cases of COVID-19 in Kenya. Most traders on Monday reported low business even as the Central Bank of Kenya whipped mobile money services providers to open up transaction limits for 90 days. Faisal Ahmed has the details. The move by Central Bank Governor Dr. Patrick Njoroge following a meeting by telcos operating in Kenya is expected to increase cash flow as well as cushion a number of small and medium enterprises during the 90-day period. Among the new regulations include a zero charge on mobile transactions of up to 1,000 shillings, increasing daily transaction limits to 150,000 as well as a 300,000 cash limit for funds on mobile money wallets. The CBK has also directed banks and payment services providers to remove costs charged for transactions between mobile money wallets and bank accounts. <laughs> While this move is targeted at small traders, most of them have already begun feeling the pinch of COVID-19 in Kenya. Speaking to Citizen Television, some of the operators noted low business volumes and characteristic of a normal week in Nairobi. <laughs> At the Nairobi Securities Exchange, where trading was halted on Friday due to a more than 5% plunge, activity resumed. While the borrowers recorded an increase in local investor activity, the benchmark NSE 20 share was still down 66.82 points to close the day at 2058.96 points. We shall also equally not entertain, you know, hoarding or raising prices to Mwananchi, taking advantage of this situation to create uh, artificial shortages so that Mwanainchi is made to pay more. Despite warnings from the Competition Authority of Kenya and the President himself, a few crafty individuals have decided to buy hand sanitizers and face masks in bulk and then sell them online at a higher price to get more profits. Clean Shelf Supermarket is among those cited for hiking the price of hand sanitizers by 200 shillings over the weekend. The supermarket has been directed to refund its customers within the next 10 days. Globally, the impact of COVID-19 has continued to shake the markets. In the US, the Dow Jones fell to its lowest level in nearly three years. Similar drops were witnessed at the S&P 500 and Nasdaq, triggering a circuit breaker to prevent them from falling further. Shares tumbled in Asia and Europe, where more cases of coronavirus are being reported. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.